it with wood. And you can fancy these parts maybe through this one. Yeah. And you can see here, this is our little motor, vibration motor. And uh, the time that I got to, I got to build the, the devices and the games, programming that and uh, setting that and the documentation was not so, so much. Really, I spent more time for the, for the research. I must, uh, for, a, for a long time, must to, to reduce the, the graphic for the, of the game self because even, even uh, the, the children self got some problem with too many components, too many objects on the scene. I got to reduce every component of the game and to reduce the, to the minimum so that the, the children don't get uh, uh, complicated, uh, don't complicate uh, animated objects to identify. Um, this one <laughs> was my solution for a quick, I, I, I didn't get the, the time to buy a, a motor in, in German or there are some there, and I used these parts <laughs> to get, uh, to introduce in the, in the device so that, so that the patient got the feedback. But because for this patent was really important not only uh, audio feedback or visual feedback, feedback, but to to feel the, the vibration of the of the input the input device. Uh, so it was a, a output device too. <laughs> so this was my. <laughs> this was this is one of the process that uh, I. To, for the realization of these devices, and this was the final output. And but uh, Evan, I don't know why, because but it's not this, this is not these are not the, the the colors, and it's not the really final result of my work. But it's okay. And this one are other elements that I use it, and uh, here these parts, uh, the the. Physiotherapy helper, I don't know how it, in English is this, the name. Um, the helper uh, could uh, choose the, the angle for every single patient. This angle was recorded, was saved in the game inside, and the, the game knew it that that patient had to, uh, to uh, uh, leave up the, 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 the harm in this, at this level, and the game could react. Also, the, the patent got to, to live up this, this, uh, this harm, and, the, the, and it was, in the game was something happening. And if, you, and if the, the patent helper put that this here to two, uh, level two, the patent got to, to rise the, the harm ever upper, ever upper and ever upper. And uh, that got to really uh, some interesting results, result for, for the patient self, because they didn't got the, to, to make this exercise for a mirror, but with fun. Also, they got really, for this game was really designed for little children, not for, for, uh, for men or for women. I know, I, I, I was testing these games with, uh, with uh, um, old people, and uh, the old people finding these this games really boring. But I know that. Uh, game designers have every, every time that they begin uh, games, to produce a game, they have to say, which one are my audience? Which one? And my audience was children to uh, 12 years old. So, they go home, go ahead. this was the technical part, the electronic part of my device, and uh, it was really simple. My, uh, there was the three different uh, prototypes of this uh, device. The last prototype is still now working in the, this uh, rehabilitation clinic of, the, of Fulton in Zurich, and they are using this uh, device in the games to um, to, to, for, for the exercise, the normal exercise. This is a simple switch, nothing complicated. And the characters. Characters was a tema because uh, uh, the patent got to identify yourself with the characters. This was really important because uh, there was different patents that was uh, 
uh, not normal in the, in the face, not normal in the body. And uh, this was very important to, to make different uh, characters with different characteristics. And uh, this because, uh, to, for example, this, uh, this horse, uh, this is a mopony, uh, got only three, three, three legs and not four uh, like the normals. And uh, yeah, every character uh, have a bio uh, that represent or that uh, uh, which one which will, um, with them could the, the patient could identify itself. Sorry for my English, but I'm very nervous. <laughs> Um, these are only few of the selected characters and uh, some process of the animation. All was made by myself and I didn't get so much time, but I get uh, from the Zurich University, I get uh, a lot of money to do researches. And uh, then with, uh, with time I get, I get the time to finish the game for the, for the rehabilitation clinic so that uh, this was really interesting for feel for most people. Uh, sure, sit. Uh, so this guy have a, a little tattoo here. You can see it. Can we maybe do it some a little? Yeah, maybe you can see that here. And I saw that a lot of people got some. <laughs> <laughs> just the same idea. <laughs> Do you know this guy? <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was the part uh, of my presentation about uh, serious game. I did I did uh, some other games uh, with Blender, but we don't have the time to see that. So uh, augmented reality. Um, Do you know what augmented reality is? Yes. No. To be, yeah. Okay, I show you a little example, also uh, three examples. And the Credit Suisse example is very simple. Bomber is very complicated, and um, Fister is even complicated. And but in every of these uh, examples, Blender was one of the most important parts of the of these examples. Every of these projects needed Blender to be finished. So I can show you, <laughs> I can tell you then why. Um, I can show you the first example here. This is a work that I made for the Credit Suisse of Zurich. And uh, this is a, a magazine, an intern magazine of the of this uh, bank. At the moment, I'm working for for Vanilla. It's a society that uh, make uh, uh, media, virtual reality, and uh, augmented reality products for a big company and for uh, yeah for for representation for for publicity. So I can stop this here. You got the idea. And uh, Blender here was used as for, for the export of the plane. Uh, this plane was a special plane one because it was scripted in environment and a little bit in Python. And the exporter, um, the, the tools that we use in this, uh, in this society, in the Vanilla, is a tool. Uh, I, it's the tool for from Metaio is the Germany company that uh, have uh, different tools for augmented reality. These tools can be expandable and uh, can can be used to do professional uh, augmented reality products. And uh, they are really fun. Also, it's a big company and they love Blender. Also, this company is. Specifically, Blender for the most of their of their products of their uh, uh, presentation too. And I show you next example: the Bombardier. Bombardier is the one of the train of the famous train of German. And this is the the whole train was in 3D modeled in the Blender. 
you can see here only the, the outside, only the case of the train. Inside, there was a lot, a lot of details of, for the motors, for the converter, for the, for the, uh, the reds, and for the wheels, and wasn't really scripted. Was this with, uh, with Blender, was exported with a Blender FireML exporter, and uh, yeah, and, and with this tool for, from Metayo was used too. This is the, one of the exhibition in, the, in Berlin. Talk Blender, I could make this, uh, the interaction that you can see here. There, is, there are some buttons. And uh, the whole train well, is, uh, is uh, scripted in Blender 2. This animation too. It's very best if you see my presentation on YouTube then, <laughs> because it's... Uh, here, street demo is for Fister demo. Fister is uh, the Swiss version of IKEA. <laughs> so, um, it's a very famous uh, company for mobiles. Um, they work really a lot with design. They are really they have really good products. Uh, for not only because they are good, uh, they looks good because they are really uh, some products are really uh, made intelligent. They are really really good stuff. And uh, for this project, um, every of the models of this project must be finalized in Blender. Uh, because the, 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 the other 3D packages, the 3D, 3D software, couldn't uh, um, uh, attach the, also we have, we have Cinema Fear Day in, uh, in Vanilla, and the Cinema Fear Day couldn't attach the, the texture to the model, to the OBO uh, model. Um, uh, this one is the product we did. With this application, you can you can make a photo for, of a room, and then you can place the mobiles. There are there were these mobiles were made uh, parts in Blender, interior in Blender, and parts in Cinema. You can place these objects in the in your room, and then you can see how this mobile could be could be placed in your room, or uh, if good for you. And then after you did that, did, did, after you do that. You can get, go to to Fist and buy these products. <laughs> so. Um, I can see, um, I can, uh, can say that Blender with the bit management and the Metaio Vermel exporter are the best tools to do uh, augmented reality. There are uh, different uh, plugins, Python uh, uh, plugins and uh, pl uh, Python scripts that uh, let you do, let you to, to export uh, to work with augmented reality together like the OpenCV, do you know that? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, uh, look for in the look in net for bit management exporter. This is the only way that you have to export shaders and animations and uh, uh, light position in, in the VARML from Blender. This is the only way. And uh, the other way, 
that you have to export animation or so to say animature animation from Blender in Varamel is to use the Varamel exporter for Metaio. If you contact the Metaio website, they the staff could give to send you could send you the, the script uh, for free. Um, so I'm finished at soon. <laughs> if you have any questions or you can, want to contact me for anything, uh, you can do it uh, in, at my portfolio or in the vanilla.ch. Um, you can contact me for, for questions or if you need help for something, documentary edit or something else. So, ah, cool. Let me to introduce my son, new brand user <laughs> that will come in the camera. <laughs> So, thank you. thank you for your attention and sorry again for my English. I'm a little nervous and it's not so easy. Thank you. thank you for your presentation. So, let's continue with the next one. So, uh, please come down and set up.